guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're watching Avatar The Last Airbender. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are starting season three of Avatar The Last Airbender. We are watching episodes one and two. And I am, I'm conflicted because I'm eager to see how this story ends, but when it ends, I know it's done. Now again, I know that we have some content in our future, whether or not it's actually any good <laughs> will be the question. Um, but I, I I love our our Avatar family. I love Team Avatar. I love Uncle Iroh and I love Zuko and you know, uh, my girl May. I, I adore Ty Lee and Azula is Azula. <laughs> She's like a good character. And as someone who's evil and powerful, she's amazing. <laughs> and she's incredibly scary when she is using that power. Um, but I would just say that like there's nothing super redeemable about her. Now I know that we are all a product of how we were raised and that her being daddy's little girl and following in his footsteps, you know, it's really the only thing she knows. And for that, I have sympathy for her because she probably didn't feel like she had much of a choice and this is what she found that she was good at and what she was being praised for. And that is an unfortunate place for a kid to be. Now, Zuko. I have a really hard time thinking that we have gone these two seasons to see this change in him, for him to turn his back on Uncle Iroh and what Uncle Iroh wanted him to do. And I, I definitely have a hard time believing that he would just follow Azula once again with the promise of him being able to go home. Like, he has to know that that is a lie, it is a manipulation, that there is definitely something painful that would come at the end of that. I'm hoping he wants to be, like, on the inside and, like, it's a ruse and, like, he just wants to, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know if it's a way to get back to the Fire Kingdom to actually speak with his father and not about his honor and not about being the prince again, but like maybe, maybe asking his father to change. Um, I'm not sure, but I'm having a really hard time swallowing the pill that Zuko chose something that for two seasons he was being, he, he was being prepared to choose something else. And, um, we didn't lose Uncle Iroh. I know that we lost the voice actor for him, so we do have somebody new doing his voice. But, you know, uh, they, they Azula didn't choose to kill her uncle. I don't know. I have a hard time swallowing that pill. So I choose to believe that there's still something very honorable and good in Zuko and that what his plan is... I'm hoping it's kind of like when everyone thought he died and the ship blew up and then he pretended to be a soldier and, you know, he was on Zhao's ship that's, you know, it's, it's kind of something like that where him and Iroh were kind of like, we got an idea. This is what we're going to do. And I hope that that's what it is. Now, we were left in a really sad situation with Aang and the gang, I almost called it the Aang gang, um, about them flying with the Earth King and a bear um, because... Azula essentially helped the Dai Li take over the Earth Kingdom, Ba Sing Se. But <laughs> here's the thing. She got one under uh, Long Fang, and it was wonderful, and it was beautiful, and I wasn't sad about it whatsoever. Um, because Azula, like, like if, 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 if we don't have any of Aang's story, any of the other kids, we are rooting for her to win. Uh, especially because it's Long Fang, and he's definitely a bummer, man. Uh, yeah, so I wasn't I wasn't sad to see his downfall, but um, there is really no one stopping Azula from having ultimate power now in Ba Sing Se. Maybe Boomy? I don't know. Do we get a Boomy? Like, do we get an appearance from him? And he's just like, I'll take you out? I don't know. But what I did like was definitely... Um, seeing the kids display all of their powers when they were, you know, invading the castle. And I loved seeing Katara kind of come into her own and really show her strength as a waterbender. Um, but Aang going through everything that he did and having to let go of her, I don't really know what that means. I don't, I don't, I feel like when you love somebody, you love somebody, it, lasts, it leaves an imprint on your heart and you can't ever let go of them. 
Um, but that gave Azula just a fraction of a second that she needed to injure Aang. And, you know, it was like, I was like loving the moment that Katara was having with Zuko about like healing his scar. And the fact that uh, that didn't happen. I was like, oh, that's such a bummer. Like, like you know, I, I really would would have wanted that for Zuko. But I'm happy that it didn't happen so she could save Aang. And I don't know if they're going to get an I love you out or not. Again, he's 12. She's 14. I don't really... <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I don't, I don't need him to say that. I think maybe just showing love and appreciation without there being, like, an I love you, I think, is, is perfectly fine enough. We did get to see Sokka and Katara's father. Um, that was pretty uh, emotional, not only for Sokka, but like probably for all of us who knows what it meant for Sokka, one, to see his father and for his father to call him a warrior and say like, I left you in charge of the village because I trust you to do that because you are a strong warrior, because you you are a man. And, and I think Sokka needed to hear that. I think that that can definitely take a, a boy from a man. Now, we don't know what happened to Suki and the rest of the Kyoshi Warriors. I don't know if they're dead and gone. Um, people kind of have confirmed to me that Jet is, in fact, gone, but because it's Nickelodeon, they're not going to, like, kill a kid, which I, I kind of agree with. Um, some form of closure would have been nice, um, so I guess I can just assume that they are, um, all three of them, uh, are, are gone. Now, I'm not sure where we're going on Appa. I'm guessing the Eastern Air Temple, back to the Guru, maybe. Um, I, they could regroup at a water tribe. Um, either water tribe would open, would be welcomed with open arms. But um, I, I don't know what the world's going to look like with Azula having captured the Earth Kingdom. Ooh. I don't know if there's going to be a mass exodus at Ba Sing Se. Um, people didn't even know there was a war going on and, you know, they, they the, their king was just overthrown. <laughs> I mean, there's, there's so many things that I think need to be wrapped up in this season. Um, and, and, and Aang needs to be able to master the Avatar state. And he was so vulnerable in that moment. And thankfully it wasn't a killing blow because I know he just gets reincarnated, but I don't want Aang to die. I don't want to lose Aang. I don't want a new Avatar. I want this Avatar. This is the avatar we want, and I want him to grow old, and I want him to live a fruitful life, and I want Appa to be a, 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 just a happy, happy bison. I'm so happy to have Appa back. Oh my gosh. So the, definitely this book, I think, is going to be called Fire. <laughs> I'm not under any illusion that it won't be. Um, but what does that mean for Aang and learning firebending? Because I really thought Iroh was going to be the guy. Uh, I, I really thought that, like, that's who was going to help us, like, teach Aang how to firebend. And every time he's interacted with the kids... It has never been an angry firebender. It has always been a very helpful man. So uh, I, I really thought that that was going to be the case. So we still have to learn firebending. And for Aang to not be afraid of it, not be afraid of the power of it, and be able to wield it with confidence. But I don't know if Appa is still scared of fire. I mean, like, you know, his lost days and, and being cracked with a fire whip, I think that that's memorable. Even though it might be hard for him to be around fire, um, I still think, like, Appa is very brave. He's very brave. I'm gonna cry. Oh. Okay, I'm not gonna speculate any further. I need to get into these first two episodes. I need to see what the Book of Fire is all about, and I need, I need to just kind of know what the plan is. I think not knowing at the end of the last season was actually the worst type of, 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 like, ending. <laughs> like, no one's like, you know what we should do? Let's go to the Eastern Air Temple. Let's go to a water tribe. Let's do this. Let's do that. Let's do this. It was just like, wow, that sucked. And then end. <laughs> like, oh, oh, there's no plan. So guys, whew, let's get into season three. Avatar The Last Airbender, episode one and two. Let's go. <laughs> Book Three Fire, Chapter One, The Awakening. What does that mean? Aang with hair! Uh, 
Oh, you okay, buddy? Is he older? Oh no! What is going on right now? You hear something? He's awake! Stop! Wait! Stop, wait. Were they helping him? Momo? They were helping. Twinkle Toes, that's gotta be you. Aang, you're awake. What is going on? I feel like I'm dreaming. You're not dreaming. You're finally awake. Aang, good to see you back with the living buddy. <laughs> oh, God, take that off. Uh-oh, somebody catch him. He's gonna... Okay, so this must be after his injury. Oh, hi, Appa Buddy. His, it must be a while for his hair to grow back like that. Aren't you cold? I've got a lot on my mind. Over three years since I was home. I wonder what's changed. <sighs> I just asked if you were cold. I didn't ask for your whole life story. <laughs> oh. Stop worrying. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Good for you. I love her. I adore her. Why are we on a Fire Nation ship? And why am I the only one who's completely out of it? You got hurt pretty bad. I like your hair. I have hair? <laughs> How long was I out? A few weeks. Whoa! Everything okay? We're fine, Dad. I'm Hakoda, Katara and Sokka's father. He knows who you are. I just called you Dad, didn't I? Whoa. I guess you're right. Whoa. Nice to officially meet you, Chief Hakoda. It's an honor to meet you. Now you guys have finally met, so would you mind giving us a little privacy? Of course. What is happening there? Are you mad at your dad or something? Yeah. Not at all. Why would you say that? That eyebrow thing you're doing? You need a healing session. Oh. Tell me where your pain feels most intense. Mm, a little higher. Mm. Oh. Oh, memory being triggered. You're definitely in the right area there. Let me just see if I can... Gosh. I didn't just get hurt, did I? I was gone. But you brought me back. I just used the spirit water from the North Pole. I don't know what I did exactly. You saved me. If, if you're brought back, can you still be the Avatar? So technically, he died, right? Your Princess Azula entered the Earth Kingdom's capital. Azula's agents overtook the entire city. They went to Far Sing Se's Great Wall and brought them down. Wow. The armies of the Fire Nation surged through the wall, securing our victory. I have a cold chill. <laughs> oh, hope. The heroes have returned home! Azula! And after three long years, your prince has returned! Zuko! That make you feel better, Zuko? After what happened in Bossing Se, we had to get you to safety. We found my father and the other Water Tribe men. The Earth King decided he wanted to travel the world, so he set off alone. Well, not completely alone. Is that the time to do that? You know what? He's useless. Go. We captured a single ship and made it our disguise. We've seen a few Fire Nation ships, but none have bothered us. We've been working on a modified version of the invasion plan. It's Sokka's invasion plan. Yes, Sokka's plan. What is going on there? We're planning a smaller invasion. Just a ragtag team of our friends and allies. We already ran into Pipsqueak and the Duke. Nice! Good to see you Oh again, yeah, I, th I did recognize him, but I was like, that can't be him. We have a secret. You. Me? Mm. Yep. The whole world thinks you're dead. Isn't that great? <sighs> I mean, yes. Can he still be the Avatar? Is he still the Avatar? The world thinks I'm dead? That's terrible! It means the Fire Nation won't be hunting us anymore. They won't be expecting you on the day of Black Sun. This is so messed up! 
I'll handle this. The Avatar is back. Uh uh. Remember, they don't know we're not Fire Nation. Bato and I will take care of this. <laughs> I hate not being able to do anything. You just woke up, buddy. Oh, who are you? Commander, why are you off course? We're from the Eastern Fleet. Nice of Admiral Chan to let us know he was sending one of his ships our way. Hopefully you don't check. Next time we'll send two hawks to be sure you get the message. Sir, Admiral Chan has been on leave for two months at Ember Island. Something's not right. They should have known that. I think this is a captured ship. Just stay quiet until it's safely across the ramp. They're smart. Safe. Oh, thank God she can hear that. They know! Dang, Toph! No messing around. Take that other ship. Or do that. It's where you and your mother used to hang out. You seem so downcast. Has May gotten to you already? Though actually, May has been in a strangely good mood lately. I haven't seen Dad yet. I haven't seen him since I was banished. I didn't capture the Avatar. Who cares? The Avatar's dead. Unless you think he somehow miraculously survived. This is mm. water from the spirit mm -hmm. oasis at the North Pole. It has special properties, so I've been saving it for something important. No. There's no way he could have survived. Good job, Zuko. She doesn't believe you. Hold the top! <laughs> That's amazing. She's amazing. Oh, Aang. I hate seeing Aang like that. That was a good play. I'm gonna give us some cover. Look at Katara. Look at Katara. I just what's going on with her and her dad? I can't just stand by and do nothing. You're still hurt. Just let us handle this. Fine. Oof. I get it though. I, I I get why he feels the way that he does, but at the same time, like he needs to get rest, he needs to heal. How we doing? Things couldn't get much worse. Um well. Just loves proving me wrong. Yep, every time. You make it too easy. <laughs> Thank you, the universe. Yeah, that helped you out. <laughs> it was unexpected, but helped you out. Hey, Aang. We're going into town to find some dinner. Well, I am pretty hungry. Here, tie this around your head. It'll cover your arrow. I'm not going out if I can't wear my arrow proudly. Oh, Aang. You guys go ahead without us. We'll catch up with you. I think I understand why being a secret bothers you so much. You don't want people to think you failed. You're right, I don't. But the problem is, I did fail. Aww. I was in Ba Sing Se, but I lost. And now the Earth Kingdom has fallen for good. It's not for good. Yeah, that's not true. I don't want you or anyone else risking your lives to fix my mistakes. <sighs> I've always known that I would have to face the Fire Lord, but now I know I need to do it alone. Just go, please. Is there anything you need? I need to redeem myself. Oh, baby. I need my honor back. The parallels of this show with Aang and Zuko are insane. It's not a ruse. He wanted to go back on purpose. So disappointed. I brought you some food. Where did he go? Oh no. I mean, 
mean, if he does it at night and Appa's there to catch him, I mean, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know what he does when he's still injured, though. He does not a fire bend. You have been away for a long time. You have redeemed yourself, my son. Mm, there's that word, redeemed. Welcome home. Ozai's a babe. I hate that. What's wrong, Katara? He left. He just took his glider and disappeared. He has this ridiculous notion that he has to save the world alone. Maybe that's his way of being brave. It's not brave. It's selfish and stupid. We could be helping him, and I know the world needs him, but doesn't he know how much that we need him too? How can you just leave us behind? You're talking about me too, aren't you? Yeah. How could you leave us, Dad? We were just so lost without you. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Katara. <laughs> I understand why you left. I know that you had to go. Why do I still feel this way? I'm so sad and angry and hurt. I love you more than anything. You and your brother are my entire world. I thought about you every day I was gone. And every night when I went to sleep, I would lie awake missing you so much it would ache. <laughs> I am proud of you, Prince Zuko. When your loyalty was tested by your treacherous uncle, you did the right thing and captured the traitor. And I am proudest of all of your most legendary accomplishment. You slayed the Avatar. Azula told me everything. She was amazed and impressed with your power and ferocity at the moment of truth. Azula let him take the credit? Why? What is she playing at? Blockade. Oh, that's new. Wow. Really cool, though. There you go. <laughs> I mean, he looks cool. I, I wish he wasn't out here by himself risking everything, but he looks cool. Why did you tell father that I was the one who killed the Avatar? You seemed so worried about how father would treat you. I figured if I gave you the credit, you'd have nothing to worry about. But why? Yeah, that's my Call question. A generous gesture. Mm -mm. I wanted to thank you for your help, and I was happy to share the glory. You're lying. Yeah. You have another motive for doing this. Absolutely. I just haven't figured out what it is. What could I possibly gain by letting you get all the glory for defeating the Avatar? Unless, somehow, the Avatar was actually alive. All that glory would suddenly turn to shame and foolishness. Wow. But you said yourself, that was impossible. Sleep well, Zuzu. That is so smart and deceptive and manipulative. I love it, but I hate it at the same time. I'm not gonna make it. Yes, you will. I failed. You did not. Oh. You haven't failed, eh? If anyone is to blame for the state of the world, it is me. I should have seen this war coming and prevented it. You inherited my problems, but I believe you are destined to redeem me and save the world. I don't know. Word redeem. You already saved the world. And you'll save the world again. But you can't give up. I did not expect to see you, eh? You're right. I won't give up. Okay. Oh. Uh. Is this the where the the temple used to be, Roku's temple? You're okay. Oh, Abba. I have so much to do. I know, but you'll have our help. You didn't think you could get out of training just by coming to the Fire Nation. <laughs> What? Oh, Aww. it's your glider. 
If someone saw it, it would give away my identity. It's better for now that no one knows I'm alive. Proud of you, Aang. It's just a glider. Well, what a welcome back. The headband to cover the arrow. Oh. Fire Nation's really cool looking. I hate that. <laughs> I think I see a cave below. Keep quiet. Are they disguised in a cloud? <laughs> Great job with the cloud camo, but next time, let's disguise ourselves as the kind of cloud who knows how to keep its mouth shut. Yeah, we wouldn't want a bird to hear us chatting up there and turn us in. We're in enemy territory. Those are enemy birds. <laughs> The universe always poking fun at Sokka. This is how I'll be living until the invasion begins. Hiding in cave after cave after cave. What we need is some new clothes. If we get Fire Nation disguises, we'll be just as safe as we would be hiding in a cave. Does anyone want to sit in the dirt and eat cave hoppers? Ugh, no, not I. Oh, well, Momo. Looks like we got outvoted, sport. <laughs> I don't know about this. These clothes belong to somebody. But if it's essential to our survival, then I call the suit. <laughs> Sokka, just pick one. Ta-da! I love it! I should probably wear shoes, but then he won't be able to see as well. Just cut out the feet. Sorry, shoes! <laughs> Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, your mom's necklace. I guess it's pretty obviously Water Tribe, isn't it? It's not for forever. You guys look great. I used to visit my friend Kuzan here a hundred years ago. So everyone just follow my lead and stay cool. Or as they say in the Fire Nation, <laughs> stay flaming. Uh, do they? Greetings, my good hotman. Uh, hi, I guess. <laughs> We're going to a meat place. Everyone here eats meat, even the meat. Oh. I'll just get some lettuce out of the garbage. Oh, jeez. Hotman, hotman, hotman. You don't have to say hi to everyone. We caught you. Who, me? Next time you play hooky, you might want to take off your school uniform. Oh. Oops. Oh, well, he gets to go to school. Fun. Is this a new mine ready for molding? Let the molding begin. Wait a minute. You're not from the Fire Nation. <gasps> Hand tattoo? Clearly, you're from the colonies. Oh. The colonies, of course. What is your name? Or should we just call you Mannerless Colony Slob? <laughs> just Slob is fine. Or, uh... Kuzan. Aww. So interesting to see, like, normal life in the uh, Fire Nation. They're not all just, like, angry and throwing fire around the whole time. Don't let the headmaster catch you with that monkey. I'm not a tattletale. My name's Anji. Oh. You must be one of those popular kids I've been hearing about. That's right. Now listen, friend. I know you're from the colonies, so I'll say this slowly. Anji is my girlfriend. Don't forget it. Uh, he wasn't interested. <laughs> I don't believe it. He didn't beat you up. We were on our way to play hide and explode. You want to come? I'd love to. Hide and explode. Interesting. Where have you been? We've been worried sick. I got invited to play with some kids after school. <laughs> after what? <laughs> I enrolled in a Fire Nation school. And I'm going back tomorrow. Enrolled in what? It's smart. It's incredibly smart. Infiltrate, infiltrate, infiltrate. Prince 
Zuko. I'm going in for a visit, and no one is going to know about this. Oh, I can't believe Iroh is in a freaking cell. Oh my god. Aang, I'm trying to be mature and not immediately shoot down your idea, but it sounds really terrible. I think it sounds great. What do you need to go to school for? I'm learning new things about the Fire Nation. I already have a picture of Fire Lord Ozai. And here's one that I made out of noodles. <laughs> I guess we'll never find out about the Secret River then. It goes right to the Fire Lord's palace. We were supposed to learn about it in class tomorrow. Hmm. Hmm. I am a fan of Secret Rivers. Fine. Let's stay a few more days. Blame you, Hotman! <laughs> Flamio? Mm hmm. <laughs> you have no right to judge me, Uncle. I did what I had to do in Ba Sing Se, and you're a fool for not joining me. You're not going to say anything? Nope. <laughs> you know you were wrong, Zuko. You're a crazy old man, and if you weren't in jail, you'd be sleeping in a gutter. He's crazy? You're the one acting like a brat. We'll begin with a pop quiz on our great march of civilization. What year did Fire Lord Sozin battle the Air Nation Army? Is that a trick question? The Air Nomads didn't have a formal military. Sozin defeated them by ambush. Well, I don't know how you could possibly know more than our national history book. Unless you were there a hundred years ago. I mean, it was. I'll just write down my best guess. <laughs> I mean, he's got a lot of power that he can put into that thing. That hullabaloo going on with your feet. Is that a nervous disorder? I was just dancing. You do dances here in the homeland, right? Not really. No. No? Dancing is not conducive to a proper learning environment. I know sometimes we're so moved by our love for our nation that we can't control our own bodies. If you must, you may march in place quietly next time the urge hits you. Oh, well, that's something, I guess. Oh, literally the wind right out of his sails. Uh, hi, Kuzan. I really like that crazy dance you were doing. I can show it to you again if you'd like. <laughs> Easy. You're going to show her something? Just some dance movements. Nobody shows my Anji anything, especially movements. For the love, this guy. What a knucklehead. <laughs> you were saying? Picking fights on your second day? We need to have a conference to discuss your punishment. Bring your parents to my office after school. Don't be late. Thank you for coming, Mr. and Mrs. Fire! <laughs> Wang Fire! This is my wife, Sapphire! Wang Fire? Mr. and Mrs. Fire, your son has been enrolled here for two days and he's already causing problems. That doesn't sound like our Kuzan. That's what any mother would say, ma'am. Nonetheless, you're forewarned. If he acts up one more time, I'll have him sent to reform school. Are we clear? Don't you worry, Mr. Headmaster! I'll straighten this boy out something fierce. Young man, as soon as we get home, you're gonna get the punishment of a lifetime. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> Baka is too much. Orange is such an awful color. You're so beautiful when you hate the world. I don't hate you. I don't hate you too. <laughs> I love that. Can't you see we're busy? Oh, May. Tai Li needs your help untangling her braid. Sounds pretty serious. Ooh, side eye. Oh, I hear you've been to visit your Uncle Fatso in the prison tower. That guard told you. No, you did just now. <laughs> She's really good. If people find out you've been to see Uncle, 
They'll think you're plotting with him. Just be careful, Dum Dum. She's got a valid point, and I hate it. No more school for you, young man. I'm not ready to leave. <laughs> I'm having fun for once. Just being a normal kid. Yeah. You get to be normal all the time. Ha ha. Oof. He gets to just be Sokka. If we want to change this place for the better, we need to show them a little taste of freedom. What could you possibly do for a country of depraved little fire monsters? I'm gonna throw them a secret dance party. Okay, yeah. Go to your room! Why has Katara still got the belly and everything? <laughs> I can't believe we're having a dance party. Don't think of it as a dance party, but as a cultural event celebrating the art of fancy football. People are actually coming! Sorry, buddy. You should probably wait out back. <laughs> I know. You've got fancier feet than anybody. Aww. I want to see him bust a move. Interesting. Ladies and gentlemen, the Flamios! This ought to get everybody moving. Nobody knows how to dance. It's like Footloose. Listen, guys. Dancing isn't something you think about. Maybe it was different in the colonies, Kuzan. But we don't do that here. Sure you do. It just so happens that I know several classic Fire Nation dances. A hundred years ago, this was known as the Phoenix Flight. Ooh. Oh, wow. <gasps> and this was the Camelephant Strut. Camelephant? <laughs> Who knew Twinkle Toes could dance? Interesting. Hmm. I brought you some Komodo chicken. I know you don't care for it, but I figure it beats prison food. Tea. You should be bringing him tea. The truth is, I need your advice. I think the Avatar is still alive. Please, uncle, I'm so confused. I need your help. Should have treated him like garbage. Forget it. Waste away in here for all I care. Zuko! You drive me crazy, kid. You're just so angry again. I know, honey. I don't like when Uncle Iroh cries. Breaks my heart. And this is how they do it in the ballrooms of Bossing Sing. Wow, they look pretty good together. Huh, if that's what you like. Interesting. Yeah, that's it. That's the sound of happy feet. All right, everybody freestyle. <laughs> All right, if you're feeling it, you're feeling it. These shoes aren't really right for dancing, and I, I, I'm not sure that I know how to take my hand. Okay. <laughs> Oh my. Bang, everyone's watching. Don't worry about them. It's just you and me right now. Hmm. And they're kind of bending, aren't they? But like without bending. And fighting. <laughs> Ooh. Cute. It is a dancing party. You did the right thing by telling me, Hide. Uh, anytime, Headmaster, sir. You weasel. This is incredible. It's like my inhibitions just disappeared. Okay, they're back again. Oh. He's the one we want. The boy with the headband. Uh oh. Gotcha. Somebody else. Looking for me? He's here somewhere. Don't let him leave the cave. Everybody put a headband on. Yes. Hi there. <laughs> Searching for someone? Who are you looking for? Do you need something? Over here. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah. Stop that. Stop that. <laughs> no, keep it going. We're safe, Sokka. You can take off the mustache now. Oh, no, I can't. It's permanently glued to my skin. <laughs> I think you really did help those kids. It was just a dance party, that's all. Well, that was some dance party, Ang. Oh. Mm. Flame EO, sir. Flame EO. <laughs> Is he gonna see Appa? You're sure you weren't followed? They say you're good at what you do. Who? And even better at keeping secrets. The Avatar is alive. I want you to find him and end him. Suko! Whoa. That was an intense zoom in. I was I was very intimidated. Okay, so welcome back. Um, no, it wasn't a ruse. Zuko really... He really went there. He really did that. And now Uncle Iroh is in a cell, and I'm actually really angry at Zuko. I know why. Like, I get why. I understand why. And it worked out better than it probably would have originally. Um, I mean, Azula is so smart. It's irritating. It's so irritating because I was like, why would she have given him the credit? Like, I could totally see her wanting to win her father over. But when he didn't answer her, like, straight away with, like, no, there's no way the Avatar is alive, she was just like, hmm, I'm going to protect myself in this situation and I'm going to let him take all the credit. So when the Avatar is alive, he's the one that looks stupid and foolish. Yeah, she's smart. Smart cookie. Yeah. Or even just, like, saying, like, Oh, I heard you're sneaking off to see uh, Uncle, and he's just like, "Oh, that guard told you," and she's like, "No, you did." Like she, she has a way of just like pushing Zuko's buttons, or, I mean, obviously, like she got him to turn his back on Uncle Iroh. Just, she's really good, and it's really annoying. Like she's good at a lot. She's not just good at fire bending, and 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 lightning throwing, and and being just evil. Like, she's also intelligent, and it drives me crazy. <laughs> because she's a formidable foe. Like, she actually, like, is a challenge. And and it's not just one where you can, like, you know, it's not like a Zhao where, like, you know, a couple times you get one over on her and everything. I don't think we've ever gotten one really over on her besides maybe the drill. She's very intimidating on all fronts. You know what? Better yet. You know, I, I always hate when somebody says somebody's intimidating. Nay. Azula is not intimidating. I am intimidated by Azula. That is on me. I find her scary because she's powerful and smart and is just cold. For someone who bends fire, she is so cold and slick. Like how, but what I did like though is like, okay, obviously Zuko and May have picked up where they left off. I don't really know where they left off, but like it seemed like it was heating up and it still is. And I mean, when he's like, I don't hate you too, like that is such a Star Wars, I love you, I know kind of moment when it comes to those two. <laughs> I just adore her when she's just like, are you cold? And he's just like going off on his feelings. And she's just like, I didn't need your life story, man. I just wondered if you were cold. <laughs> I enjoy her a lot. But the side eye that she gave Azula for sending her away because she wanted to talk to Zuko, you know, I was like, ooh, ooh. Because, you know, when it comes to May, she's just like, not worth the effort. Not gonna do it. Mm -mm. Like, no. Nah. The color orange is so hideous. Like, just, like, things like that where it's just like, like, she's not really riled up by anything and then she's like, bombastic side eye, you know, just ooh. So, really, uh, I mean, I guess I'm happy to see them together, to see Zuko feeling something other than rage. <laughs> not love or not hate. He, he's feeling not hate. Cool. <laughs> but when he goes to visit Uncle Iroh and, 
you know, he's not getting the the Iro that we all know and love and that he's accustomed to because if I'm Iro, I don't trust Zuko anymore. If if I'm Iro, I'm like, you don't deserve my guidance. And especially in this moment, like he didn't say, I'm sorry. He didn't say, I regret this. I, you know, I love you, but it's what I needed to do or any of those things. You know, he's just like, the Avatar is alive and you have to help me find him. Like, aren't you listening to me? And didn't bring him tea, brought him like something. He's like, I know you're not a fan of this, but here you go. It's better than prison food. It's like, bring him some ginseng tea. That's the way to that man's heart. That'll get him talking. 100%. And, you know, Iroh's heart is just so broken that, like, the second son that he loved so much did this to him. And that he thought, and I thought, and everyone thought probably, was making this, like, just huge change in Zuko. And I'm sure Iroh thinks that he failed. And here's the thing, is, like, Zuko is still the same person inside that he always was. And he's got that conflict. And it's not about finding the Avatar, necessarily. But, like, now we've got this big guy at the end who's very intimidating and scary. I'm intimidated by him and he's scary. <laughs> but like uh, now he's hell bent because he has his honor restored. He has his dad saying, I'm proud of you and, and I can't believe you slayed the Avatar and just like was kind of like gassing him up. And then he's like, I don't want to lose that. When really that's not the thing that's important. That's not the thing that matters. You know, Uncle Iroh will look you straight in the eye and tell you I love you. I don't know if you'll get that from your father ever. And it was a lot of, like, father stories in the first episode where, you know, obviously Zuko being in the presence of Ozai and we get a full face shot of Ozai. And I'm glad that they they held out until book three to really do that. Like, we've seen, like, the smirk and, like, you know, the back of him and, like, the fire kind of camouflaging his face a little bit. But, you know, now we're getting full on, uh, full on Ozai. And then, you know, we have Katara who's mad at her father for leaving them like you know like that's that's so hard because especially at that age you know being in your formative years you know Sokka got the I'm proud of you and I left you there because I believed in you and that you know I knew you'd keep everyone safe and his reaction to his father is happy to be reunited with him and Katara's is I'm still feeling all of the things that I felt before but now you're like in my presence and I want to express how you made me feel. And it's not his fault and it's not her fault. Feelings are feelings, they're, they're all valid. Whether or not you have a reason to treat somebody that way, like her snapping at her father, we know that that's not okay. Her feelings are 100% valid, but her treating him that way is not. And I'm glad that they like didn't wait the entire like you know beginning of the season to fix that. I was like, what is going on? And her like expressing to him, it's like she felt abandoned. And you know, every girl needs her dad. Like I love my father, like he's like my world. So, you know, like I understand what it's like, you know, to like not have your parent around and, and like that hurts, it does, you know, but I'm also a grown adult and I can express that to him. I can call him up and be like, hey, I miss you. Like. <laughs> what's up? Like, you know, but like, you know, she didn't really have that ability for two years and she definitely needed her father. And I don't know if that's mended or fixed, but I feel like they're on their way to healing. Now, Aang being hurt in the beginning, I was like, oh my God, especially with his hair growth. I was like, this is like weeks after everything happened. I didn't realize that he was unconscious that entire time. Um, he looks so different with hair. Um, I'm so used to seeing him bald and like he, he looks really cute in the Fire Nation outfit with the headband on. Like they all look really adorable in those clothes. Um, but him like really struggling with not being able to do anything when they're being attacked by the Fire Nation. One, he does have to allow people to show their strengths and use their strengths. And, and like they have been surviving that entire time without him being conscious. So he needs to focus on healing and, and getting better. And he's so disappointed in himself. And there's just this heavy failure that he feels. And he shouldn't. Like, defeats happen all the time. You know, your real strength is when you face that defeat and you, you learn something from it and you grow from that. And then you move on. 
Um, and that's what he eventually does. And I'm happy to have our, our happy Aang back, you know, when him being in school and expressing like he never got to have a childhood and, and like, this is like great for him. Like, it's really interesting. Just like, I know Fire Nation schools, I would expect them to be strict. Um, but you know, the no dancing, like that's, that, that is immediate in my head. Footloose Utah vibes. <laughs> <laughs> let's dance like uh i love that they had that to use as an expression of freedom having individuality and being able to express yourself through movement i think like i don't think those fire nation kids are gonna forget that anytime soon and like even see the guards kind of like like you know doing like a little shoulder shimmy and like doing like a little step in and everything because like they don't get those moments to let loose and and like literally be free uh, I love that. And all them putting on the headbands to help him get away. No one can resist Aang. He's just the nicest human being alive. So now we have Zuko sending somebody to take care of the Avatar. And he's scary. They met in darkness, so I don't know, like... Is he like a hired mercenary or what? But uh, I, I, I feel like he will present a problem, but he won't be... As I say, he won't be, like, that big of a deal for Aang to fight. I don't know. Uh, especially with Katara and Toph. Toph, man, she's just, like, on that ship, just clutch. Just clutch. I don't know how she was able to fire the the stone at the fireball and make it. Like, like I, I love that she can bend metal. I love that she has that ability. Like, that just is a game changer for her. And I don't know if she can feel the metal when she's walking on it the same way that she can the ground. But I feel like her mastering that has made her so incredibly powerful. Katara doing the water bending and taking out the other ship and everything like that was just I, I love watching these girls in our group do their thing. I mean, Sokka's a great warrior. And when when we need him to come up with a plan, he comes up with a great plan. Sometimes there's something stupid that's involved in it, but that's okay because that's Sokka. Like, he just, he has fun with it as well. Um, but, like, like these two girls, like, they just, like, showcase how powerful they are. And just, I'm I'm always impressed by it. And it, I don't even know if it one-ups itself every time, but it definitely feels like they are continuing learning their own craft and getting stronger at their own craft. And I love that. Now, again, I don't know where we're going to go to learn firebending. We are in the Fire Nation, so maybe we can find, like, some Avatar sympathizers and, <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> like, I, I don't even know Avatar, but just, like, anyone in general that'd be willing to teach Aang how to firebend. Maybe they can break Iroh out of jail. I don't know. I'm really upset that he's in jail. Like, irrationally upset. I'm so mad at Zuko. I'm so mad at Zuko. And there's always times like uh, that there are characters in certain shows where they can ignite a fire in them because I have a better, higher expectation of them. Um, I get disappointed in decisions that they make because I feel like they've had enough situations that they face to make a different, better decision. And like that's character growth is like making a different decision than you did last time. And he made the same one where he's just like, I want to go home. It kind of reminds me, it's funny that it's three seasons, but it kind of reminds me of Ted Lasso. Is Zuko Nate? Huh. Interesting. <laughs> I get a lot of comparisons with Uncle Iroh and Ted Lasso and, like, their positivity. And I, I, they're, they're not always positive, but they are, they have a more positive disposition. And that's where they live because they they genuinely want to put sunshine out into the world. And I, I love that comparison. I love them both so much. But guys, if you want to watch full-length reactions to these episodes, they will be available on my Patreon and up to four episodes early. That is two reactions. That might change at some point during the season because of how Netflix has bundled them. Again, uh, I feel like episode nine might be by itself. I'm not sure. Nathaniel lets me know before I get there and then I say the correct thing. <laughs> so there might be a single episode again here and there, but that's just to lump everything together correctly and how I am watching it on the streaming service. But in the meantime, like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Ooh. First of all, 
how did you enjoy Aang and the Fire Nation with all the rest of the kids? Like, I was absolutely delighted by it. And it was nice to see regular people in the Fire Nation. You know, while they are very much, like, it reminds me, I don't want to say North Korea, but it kind of feels like North Korea <laughs> a little bit. Um, that that it's 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 very stringent. It's very controlled, and uh, I I loved watching them kind of relax and being happy. And then, you know, like I've lost all my inhibitions. Oh, there they are again. <laughs> you know, like I really 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 enjoyed that. But how are you feeling about Iro in jail? Believe me, I know how you feel about it. I'm just happy that we have Appa. Like, if Iroh was in jail and Appa was gone, my heart, my, my heart couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. But guys, come back here for the next two episodes. I am so happy to be back in this. I am happy to be in the Book of Fire. And I am so mad at Zuko. But I love May. Azula's scary. Aang is still amazing and sweet. And I, I think I'm going to like this season. But I think there's going to be a lot of, uh, I think I'm going to get annoyed with Zuko and the decisions that he makes a lot because it seems like such a regression of I've got to go after the Avatar again and I know why he's doing it and I get it, but I don't like it. Okay, guys, those are my final thoughts. <laughs> I'll see ya.